We are into the month of February, and you know what that means. Spring training is upon us. That's right, pitchers and catchers reported over the weekend, and yet the two biggest names in MLB free agency have yet to sign anywhere. However, just because Manny Machado and Bryce Harper haven't signed doesn't mean there, are more, there aren't more names out there that need to be discussed. I'm joining the desk by Luis Moeller and Christian Carmi to break down the biggest MLB free agency we've seen without two top star guys. So let's talk about everybody else. <laughs> First of all, the best free agent signing. Luis, who you got? I have to say Troy Tulowitzki. Yeah, he hasn't been his top self in the past couple years with Toronto, but he's hated it in Toronto with a passion. And New York Yankees have has been his childhood team, and now he's going to New York on a minor on, on a uh, major league minimum deal at five hundred fifty-five thousand dollars for only one year. And the best part about this deal is. A division rival in the Toronto Blue Jays are paying him $20 million for the next year, and the Yankees are using him. So I mean, for, for a, a homer take, that's, I mean, uh, also on the Yankees, I think a more important and impactful move uh, for the playoffs is Zach Britton. I mean, to re sign him, having that bullpen of Ottavino, Britton, Chapman, Batanzas. That's going to be a powerful bullpen in the playoffs, and I think one of the best bullpens in MLB history. Okay, yeah. <laughs> relax. I'm just kidding. Right, so, two <laughs> free yeah. agent signings. Let's follow it up with bad free agent signings. Christian, worst free agent signing? Um, honestly, probably Joe Kelly. I just, I can't believe the Dodgers took the cheese on Joe Kelly. How can you be? He had a 4 3 9. ERA in the regular season just because he had like three good games in the playoff. I mean they were he had a sub zero ERA, which is unbelievable, but That Dodgers took the cheese. I can't believe it. He smells at like there, He only played he only had like three or four good games and they took the cheese and they signed him to this Massive contract. I think that's probably one of the worst signings. Yeah, he's a goof. I remember going to Fenway. He had glasses on. Mm -hmm. Looked like a goof. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to say the worst one is Patrick Corbin. Six years, $140 million for the six years. I don't see why you would sign someone who had one good year for six years. I a just think that deal. What, they're, what they're doing with him, like, if it was, you know, a, a, if he was a number one or number two pitcher, I'd say, yeah, that was probably not smart. But, I mean... He's been steadily improving, went from a 5 to a 4, now to a, a 3.15 ERA behind Scherzer, Strasburg, and when they Corbin, now they just signed Annabelle Sanchez. I mean, that's a, that's a good rotation. A lot, of, a lot of disagreeing on Corbin. All right, so let's, last thing, besides Machado and Harper, who else should be signed, Luis? I'm going to have to go with Dallas Keuchel. Dallas Keuchel is probably the best starting pitcher left on the block. And he was a 2015 Cy Young Award winner. He has a 3.66 career ERA. And he's a ground ball pitcher, which you don't really see. He pitches contact. You don't really see that too often in, now, uh, in baseball nowadays. He doesn't have a powerful fastball. He uh, relies on the movement. Yeah. And he's really underrated, in my opinion. I mean, he's, pretty, he's a little inconsistent. And his record was 12 and 11. But he definitely should be signed, of course. Um, I would go and go with Marvin Gonzalez. Um, oh, yeah. Anyone that picks him up is going to be happy to have him. And coming off an injury, but he, I mean, his numbers are solid. And when he did in the play, he's, he's a phenomenal player. So I think, and he could go pretty much anywhere. I mean, whoever gets him is going to be. He plays anywhere on the, on the diamond. Yes, and he's, he's an exceptional player. And I'm looking forward to seeing him on the All right, a lot of guys are going to make a big splash with their new teams, but the two biggest fish still unsigned. <laughs> well, that's all from the diamond. When we come back, Andrew will be talking about the NHL trade deadline.